Hey everyone, mango 7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7, and I probably should have covered this yesterday, but uh, I didn't. So we're going to cover it today, and that is Architect Laika. For some reason, they didn't reveal her uh, on the usual stream time, but now she's in the game, so it kind of takes a lot of the winds out of their sails. Which is a little bit unfortunate, because uh, myself, I'm actually going to be partaking in their... Um, weekly stream on i believe the 30th 29th somewhere in that range where um i imagine her full kit uh full animations and everything is going to be revealed so um let's take a look here so obviously i think she looks insane i love the coloration um this pink and white is just such a cool 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 combination uh and she's an unwelcome guest with an unknown motive uh, she has absolute standards, abides by the rules. Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's take a look at her skills. You care about that, right? Uh, I will be summoning for her as well. I only have 2300 mystics, so very unlikely for me to get her. But I'm going to try my best. Um, and as for her skill 1, we have uh, one soul here. Tax the enemy, decreases CR of the caster by 20%. Uh, pretty, pretty big here. I also like how this doesn't take Molagora forget to get the effectiveness, but you probably want to Molagora her skill one anyway. Um, 20% CR is actually quite a bit, right? Like, that's a pretty big boost, especially when we see, uh, her further skills. And I did glance over these earlier. I don't know exactly what things do, so we're going to learn together. But, um, I do know that from my first initial glance, she... Looks like she works really well with Eligo. So, um, yeah. So, laying the groundwork is her skill too. This confirms the target with an 85% chance up to 100% chance here uh, to dispel two buffs from the enemy and inflict target for two turns before granting immunity to the caster for two turns and increases her CR by 50%. So, this does a boatload. Um, obviously, dispels buffs. Obviously, um, targets, which is extra damage and decreases evasion. Also, stun immunity here. Also, from the looks of this, this does not do damage. So you're going to be able to um, uh, target people with evasion because you're going to nullify that evasion bonus they get, right? So that's pretty massive, I think. Uh, and also, it's 50% CR here. And if we look at her skill 1, that's another 20%. So let's say she gets a dual attack right after. She's basically going instantly but she's also a mage and you know mage kids can hold the best artifact in the game essentially which is tagael's tome um and obviously grants extra turns uh for 20 souls here i think they should have done something differently because it already has the innate 50 percent uh i think they could have thought of something a little bit better than that but um i do like the idea at least and yeah so obviously she's the same as a lot of other other of the in quotes overpowered heroes we get lately that use their skill to do like everything in the world and then get to go to their skill three and her skill three here is uh with everything going as planned because she confirmed her target uh increases the attack of the caster for two turns and before uh attacks <sighs> increases let me let me let me try this again she buffs herself with attack for two turns, then she attacks all enemies. And obviously damage sharing effects are ignored as well, which is massive. And when they're inflicted with target, pens the target's defense by 80%, uh, which is an insane amount of penetration. Also proportionate to her speed. And one thing to look at here is this targets and also Eligo's target. So what you can do is use Eligo's target one person, use her target the other, um, blow up two of them, and then Eligo's blows up the third, um, for Guild War at least. So she looks incredibly powerful to me. Um, I think this should be like extra damage instead of this, but you know, uh, I'm surprised they just didn't make her take an extra turn and give this uh, Sulper an extra damage. Uh, but it looks insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, her imprint is flat or percent attack, so she doesn't exactly have the whale print, but it is still pretty massive. She will need the 100% chance to crit as well. We can't actually preview skills or anything like this, so we cannot see her skill 3, but we do see she is a, a Virgo mage. So I believe that was Cowric. So let's go take a look at Cowric here and um, see. So Cowric, if we take a look, has... 
Um, let me just unequip everything here. Um, let's just change this to Tagael so we get an idea. So, uh, Calric has attack percent imprint as well. Virgo Mage, 119 speed here, which is pretty, pretty good. And um, let's kind of see what that looks like visually. So, you don't really need a pen set considering how much you're penning. So, I'm going to do speed crit. You also might want some effectiveness on our skill too, but I think you just go for the 15% chance. Like, try to not get 15% of I mean, and pray they don't have high ER. Because honestly, it doesn't look like you're going to absolutely need the target, because if you use them with her with Eligos, you already have one target at least. So, um, let's just kind of see where we can go here. So, let's just go speed crit rate. Let's just toss some stuff in here. Uh, let's go attack and then speed. Um... Crit damage, speed, then let's go speed. Unfortunately, everybody wants the same gear right now. Um, sure. And then something like that. So that's 286 speed here. Obviously, I'm missing crit. I would have to change uh, some pieces about here. Maybe I'll do that just for a little bit of a focus here. So attack, speed, crit chance. So 15 for crit chance. So something like that would be 81. Um, I wouldn't want to change that. Maybe that helm can be changed as well. Um, yes. Uh, I didn't mean to have that instead, but... Uh, 87 crit rate like this. Still not really enough crit rate. Uh, and we could also forge some attack into that if we wanted to. Um, and I'm sure I could move things around a little bit, right? Like I can get 5% crit rate here as well, would be up to 92. Or we could make her uh, slightly slower and go speed with um, crit rates here and do something like this one, which would put her at 99% chance, 272 speed, which is not, um, like you're not going to outspeed any of the super zoomers, but you're going to outspeed a good amount of people. Um, this is still slow, but this should do a lot of damage, right? Like, theoretically, should do quite a bit of damage here. Interesting. So, yeah. That's approximately what she would look like. And then, if you are whaling, you have the imprints as well. Um, she's looking pretty good. Actually, let's take a look really quickly, too. Do I have any Lycas available? Um... Green. That's not Leica. Um, there we go. So I have none on her. I have two Lilkas. Do you think that'll work? Uh, as for in storage, do I have any in here? Nope. Basar. None in there. This isn't looking good. And in the waiting room, I have... Oh, I have two. Okay, so that would get me a little bit of attack as well. So that's not terrible. So yeah, uh, coming soon to a event near you is going to be the Leica. That's all I wanted to show today. What artifact? Please be a good artifact. What is this? I don't want that. That sucks. Um, <laughs> I don't want that at all for my artifact. But it is what it is. Also, the uh, Euphine, not exactly somebody I want for, but... Um, do we ha not have a Moonlight Euphine? Am I crazy? We don't, right? Interesting. Maybe I do want her summons. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to be summoning for Laika. Let me know if you, um, Laika her. I'm going to go now. <laughs>